So this old man caught a stranger placing a package on his porch. But the old man didn't order anything, so he called to the stranger through his doorbell camera. But the stranger simply smiled and walked away, which left the man with an intense curiosity of what was in the package. But nothing could have prepared him for what he found when he opened it. So because the stranger came and went so suspiciously, the old man rewatched the doorbell camera footage to zoom in on his face, which looked strangely familiar. It all clicked when he opened the package to reveal a note, and something tucked under a cloth. The note read, Old friend, you probably don't remember me, but ten years ago I was living on the street selling art. You came by, purchased one of my paintings for ten dollars, bought me lunch, and even paid for me to get a haircut. No one had ever shown me such kindness during those tough times. Well, kindness earns interest, so here's the profit from the last painting I sold. Oh, and P.S. If you still have that ten dollar painting, it's worth even more than what's in this box. The old man put down the note and unveiled the cloth, revealing six hundred thousand dollars. And sure enough, hanging proudly on the wall beside him was the ten dollar painting. So this guy heard a violin playing from the second story of his house. But he was shocked when he found out where it was actually coming from. And it wasn't just in his head because guests and even neighbors said they heard it too. So one day, he brought his great aunt over who grew up in the house. As soon as she heard the muffled violin, which seemed to come in quick sparse bursts throughout the day, she knew exactly where it was coming from. To the man's surprise, she drew an old tattered document from her back pocket. It was the house's original blueprint. Little did the man know that behind the wallpaper was a door. A door he was never told about when he inherited the house. But what lay behind it took the man by complete surprise. A creaky staircase that led to an attic, one he never knew how to access. There he discovered a priceless antique and a mystery solved. Because it turned out, a stray Maine Coon cat had been dragging his paws on the strings of a classic violin with a brand name you may have heard of. One worth even more than the house. But best of all, he made a new friend. For the name on his adoption paperwork, Stradivarius. Leave your story ideas in the comments. I'll credit you if I write it. One thing I can't stop thinking about is the Pygmalion effect. I learned about this, and now I see everything a little bit differently. But it's best explained by the story of this interior painter. His co-worker had left to get more paint, so he took what was left in the tray and painted a design on the wall. But then, the homeowner walked in. Stop! The homeowner begged. But before the painter could apologize, explaining that the design would be covered right up once his partner returned with more paint, the homeowner did something unexpected. He handed the painter twice the amount he owed for the job and said, What I mean is, stop working. I love this design much more than a solid wall, so please leave it. You, sir, are an artist. These words brought tears to the painter's eyes. What the homeowner didn't know was that the painter had once aspired to paint grand cathedrals and murals. But doubting his abilities, he never put himself out there. The homeowner's kind words were the exact push he needed, because the beauty of the Pygmalion effect is that our behavior toward others has the power to shape their belief in themselves. So choose kindness. Leave your story ideas in the comments. I'll credit you if I write it.